Hello and welcome back to the GCP Mindset channel. Today, we'll talk about the main six components of a clinical evaluation report for medical devices. More after the intro. Welcome to the GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. If you're a beginner in the field of clinical research, you may have come across the term clinical evaluation report or short CER. Clinical evaluation reports play a critical role in the world of medical devices, ensuring these devices are safe and effective for patient use. This video will explain what constitutes a medical device, provide insight into what a clinical evaluation report is, and delve into the six main components. Let us start with a short definition of medical devices. A medical device encompasses any instrument, apparatus, machine, software, or other similar article intended by the manufacturer to be used for diagnostic or therapeutic purposes. Medical devices range from simple tools like bandages and thermometers to complex ones like pacemakers and MRI machines. A clinical evaluation report is a systematic and planned process that continuously updates the clinical evidence pertaining to a medical device. It plays a critical role in medical device development and regulation. A comprehensive CER ensures that the medical device is safe and meets its intended purpose effectively. Let us now have a look at the six main components of a clinical evaluation report. One device description and specifications. The first component involves providing a detailed description of the device, including its purpose and function. This includes details about its design, components, principles of operation, and proposed medical indications. A comprehensive device description helps regulators understand how the device works and its intended use. Two, state of the art in safety and performance. This component involves evaluating the device against the current state of the art. It includes reviewing existing similar devices and technologies, current treatment methods, and safety measures. The performance of the device is also evaluated in terms of its ability to achieve its intended purpose safely and effectively. 3. Clinical data. The third component requires collecting clinical data pertaining to the device. This includes both preclinical, laboratory, and animal studies, and clinical, human trials data. The data should provide evidence of the device's safety, performance, and potential benefits and risks. It should also be specified if the data is based on the device being evaluated or for a comparable device. If it is for a comparable device, a justification of equivalence needs to be provided. Let us go on with the next three components. 4. Appraisal of clinical data. The collected clinical data must be critically appraised to assess its quality and relevance. This helps identify any gaps in the data, evaluate the methodology of the studies conducted, and understand the strengths and limitations of the evidence. 5. Analysis of clinical data. After appraisal, the clinical data is systematically analyzed. This includes statistical analysis to determine the effectiveness and safety of the device. A thorough analysis is essential for drawing reliable conclusions about the device's performance. 6. Clinical Evaluation Conclusion Finally, conclusions are drawn from the clinical evaluation. This includes a statement on whether the device achieves its intended purpose without posing undue risks to patients. The conclusion is crucial as it influences whether the device receives regulatory approval. Let's consider a hypothetical case study of a new cardiac pacemaker. The device description would detail its design, components, how it works, and its intended purpose of regulating abnormal heart rhythms. The state-of-the-art section would compare it to existing pacemakers, outlining any advancements. The clinical data would include laboratory tests showing its electrical output and battery life, animal studies investigating biocompatibility, and human trials demonstrating its safety and efficacy. The appraisal would critically evaluate this data, identifying any gaps or methodological flaws, 
The analysis would statistically evaluate the data to ascertain the pacemaker's effectiveness and safety. Finally, the conclusion would state whether the pacemaker achieves its intended purpose safely and effectively, influencing its regulatory approval. In conclusion, a clinical evaluation report is a vital document in medical device development and regulation. Its six main components, device description and specifications, state-of-the-art and safety and performance, clinical data, appraisal of clinical data, analysis of clinical data, and clinical evaluation conclusion, work together to ensure the device is safe, effective, and meets its intended purpose. Understanding these components is crucial for anyone involved in clinical research involving medical devices. Thank you for watching our video, and we hope that you found it informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on clinical research. We look forward to see you next time.